fill the immigrants full of hatred, many of them. Still have a lot of beautiful, wonderful people, but they fill them full of all this class envy, all this garbage. And so he's spewing the, the, the New World Order project of deindustrialization and balkanization and the end of national sovereignty. And so he sounds all nice up at the top, but when you know the larger agenda, he's pushing what the most vicious, evil globalists want. And you see them giving power to him and all the world leaders lining up, fawning after him except for Putin. And it's just, it's wild to watch. Leo, quick comment on that. Thank you, ma'am. Well, it's uh, very important uh, to realize that uh, a few years, I mean, I think it was around 2009, 2010, for example, there was a guy called Don Verze. He's very powerful in the Vatican setup. He just died a couple of years ago. He was starting to promote microchipping. Just to, to, it was just an example to let you know that I think the values that the Catholic Church is promoting are very far from the Christian values of Jesus. And they are as far as you can get and have nothing to do with it. Well, that's it. I mean, it's more and more lined up with world government. It's lined up with the technocracy. It's lined up with the mark of the beast. Technocracy, technocracy that was something that was invented by Count de Simon who lived uh, in the period, uh, I think it was between 1774 and 1825, uh, Count de Simon was the guy who actually created the, the basic idea of technocracy that will later be developed by various people in this, uh, in this setup that now became the New World Order, which, uh, of course, uh, took over also the concept of synarchy. And what they want to do now is uh, to use all these technocrats uh, to take over all the various uh, governments. These technocrats who don't really have a soul, they don't really represent the people. We already have them in place here in Europe. You, you fortunately still don't have them in the U.S. as much as you have them here, even if Obama in some ways is a technocrat. But the ones over here look really the part. They have glasses, they have their own Troika agenda, and they're really 100% uh, soulless, uh, and they are zombies of the New World Order who work to achieve power for the families on top that dominate then the high finance, the Vatican together with them. Because, of course, there's a whole setup together with the Vatican made of certain families or certain interests. There is also other religious leaders involved. We have seen this. I mean, it's a melting pot that in the end wants to install this world government. And this is really the kickstart of it. It is in front of the eyes of the whole world. I mean, the Italian prime minister just uh, uh, declared Agenda 2030 to be a great thing and that uh, we should all look into it. And it, it means the end of the family, power. private property, everything. I mean, they are bringing in a hellish world saying no vacations, no meat, no air conditioning, no nothing. Uh, just smiling at us with, and then blocking in, uh, clean industrialization. I mean, this and is the trillions, end of humanity. Trillions, Alex, because this Agenda 2030 needs trillions. Who's going to give trillions? I mean, they want like five trillions a month out of us. I mean, they will simply destroy the economies of all countries by doing this. Absolutely. It's a total consolidation where we're so poor they can dictate absolute terms to us. It is pure evil. Robert in Missouri are on the air with Leo Zagami. I'm Alex Jones. Go ahead. Hey, hey, Alex and Leo, check this out. When the Pope spoke before the United Nations, have your boys, Alex, cue this up right at the beginning where he starts his remarks. He says, I come in my own name and in the name of the Catholic community. Well, check out John 543. I am come in my Father's name, and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. I Whoa, out exactly. I He's like following stuff I've read in like serious, you know, FBI criminology reports about Satanism. What the real Satanists do is they, they blaspheme and change everything that's key in the Bible. So he says, Christ failed at the cross. The cross is a failure. Guys, cue up uh, uh, Pope Francis' UN address. I want to see that. He said, I come in my own name. Repeat that again. Yes. The very first remarks out of his, 
his mouth. The translator will say it. I flipped out, Alex. I was, he says, I come to you in my own name, in the name of the Catholic community. He did not come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I never saw him do the sign of the cross while he was here, any of that stuff. This guy is an imposter, and I tell you what, when you cue that up, the first remarks out of his mouth, when he says, I come in my own name, it reminded me of that biblical prophecy, and it really just threw a red flag up in my in my spirit. And uh, the one lady that said when Jesus was on the cross and he said, um, Father, Father, why have you forsaken me? He was actually fulfilling a Bible prophecy from the Psalms when King David was on the run from King Saul. King David said that in the Psalms. Everything Jesus did was fulfilling an Old Testament prophecy. He was God. He didn't lose his faith. He was actually re-quoting stuff out of the Psalms, just like them casting lots for his garments. Everything he did was a fulfillment of the Old Testament prophecies. He fulfilled over 300 of them, and that's how you know he's the, he's the real thing. And I just wanted to throw that out there. But go to that beginning of the U.N., it'll flip you out because he came in his own name. He did not come in sure, the name of the sure. Lord. Sure, we just put up a New York speech he gave, another speech. We're uh, finding it right now, or I can find it. Um, thank you. There it is. Transcript. Read the Pope Francis speech to the United Nations. Here it is. Thank you for your kind words once again following a tradition which I feel honored, the Secretary General of the United Nations, the Pope, to address the Distinguished Assembly of Nations in my own name and that of the entire Catholic community. Wow, so he said in my name, not in Christ's name. That is unprecedented. You're absolutely right. Uh, so there you go. Time Magazine with the transcript. Thank you so much. Uh, Leo Zagami, I tell you, it just gets crazier, doesn't it? Well, uh, I hope it doesn't get to the point of the mark of the beast being uh, the, 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 the microchip, because at that point, you know, I mean, <laughs> I will, of course, say that uh, everything that's being prophesied is turning out to be true and is dramatically in front of our eyes right now. So we have to pray. Like you said at the beginning of the show, people need to pray for us. I mean, when the Pope went out there the first time and he asked people to pay for him. That was completely wrong because the church should have enough power to actually give his own blessings to the people, not want people to pray. But he's continuing to say that. He always say, pray for me, pray for me. He's getting that. That means energy. pray to him. Yeah, pray to him. That's what, uh, it's not the ad majori dei gloriam, that's the motto of the Jesuits, but it's ad majori dei of him, basically to the glory of himself that he's going to uh, the Castros in Cuba, uh, coming to the U.S. Well, he told to Boehner that. I mean, I know if you're in trouble, ask folks to pray for you. I do that too, but yeah, he's supposed to be up there as the church leader saying God's blessing you, not I need the blessing. But he's taking in that energy because he's a vampire. And that's a state that's satanic for you. I mean, that's Satanism to take the energy and to you see, there is a concept which maybe you're not be familiar with, but I want to introduce you to is the concept of egregore. Have you ever heard of it? Yes. It is the concept. The concept of agro is very important because a number of people together uh, form a thought, and this thought becomes an egregore, an entity. Now, the egregore of the Catholic Church is one of the most powerful, being more than a billion people who follow this church. It's a giant mob and psychology. And of course, if he wants them to pray for him, he's just getting this energy for him. He's not releasing anything to the people like the, the old popes used to bless people, be caring towards the others. And now he said he wants to take Hey, pray for me, pray, because I'm doing this. I have to do it. It's necessary. It's like he's really trapped by his own, uh, you know, his own role in the New World Order. Well, he tries to act humble, but you look at him, he is seething with power. Well, uh, if sometimes you spot him out of camera, you can really see his real face and his real look is completely different from what uh, then, you know, he shows on camera. He's a great actor. This well, I don't mean world. this as a cheap shot. I saw him on Skype during the breaks. And I mean, David Duke looked like a different person when he was not on camera. And I want to say powerful, scary. I mean, I was going, man, that guy looks, whoa, that doesn't even look, whoa, very wolf-like. Uh, and I don't mean that as a cheap shot. I mean, maybe I'll get him back on sometime and just, like, catch him during and tell him, I'll be taping you during the breaks, buddy. We're going to catch this on tape. But, I mean, yeah, you see these people, like, shift, and it's scary. We're going to do the whole show with you. Fourth hour's coming up. Stay there. More calls. I'll go five minutes into the next hour. Alex Jones here back live. Thank you for joining us today. And then we've got Leanne McAdoo, Jakari Jackson, 
and Kit Daniels uh, all together with the fourth hour of post-game wrap-up and also coverage of all the latest news that is breaking. Uh, this Leo Zagami interview has been so informative, I just kept it going right into the sour. I hope you can stay with us five minutes of the next hour. Uh, briefly, we're offering the best deal ever on the freshest, longest-lasting, highest-quality storable foods you can find out there that are extremely low-cost. It's powered by My Patriot Supply at InfoWarsStore.com. We have their full spectrum of meals. And then we have a copy of the very same meals just with our sticker on it because contractually as a private labeler, we can then offer it lower than anybody else uh, can sell these meals. That special introductory offer ends October 1st. If you don't have storable food, I think you've really made a grave mistake. This is insurance you can eat, InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsStore.com will take you to find knockout. Uh, and I just simply went out there to get the best organic, known, valerian root, GABA, melatonin, calomel, flower extract, L-tryptophan, and a bunch of other known compounds that have been associated with better, restful sleep. Uh, and I'm not going to make any claims here. Just get a bottle. It's, it's, it's 1995, incredibly low cost. Uh, again, you, most leading competitors sell a bottle of melatonin the same dose we have for the same price. So these are big pills. I mean, these are these have a full dose of everything in it. So it all works together with the precursors of melatonin, all of it for what what I found to be the best sleep I've ever had uh, in modern times. I slept better, obviously, when I was a kid. As you get older, you have trouble sleeping. Uh, but it's amazing when I forget to take it, I don't get as good a sleep. Knockout available at InfoWarsLife.com. Prostagard again is just the known formula. From saw palmetto to uh, lycopene to plant sterile, zinc, vitamin D3, selenium, copper. Everything uh, associated with having a better prostate. Uh, just check it out for yourself. It's documented. We can even really make claims when it comes to saw palmetto. That's recommended by MDs, but I, I'm not going to do that. Just talk to your own physician, find out about it, or look into the ingredients that are in it for yourself. Big Pharma doesn't want folks to know about stuff like this, obviously. Because it's in competition with them. Does Big Pharma have stuff better sometimes? Absolutely. I mean, I go to the doctor sometimes on each stuff. It's just that the system doesn't want competition with Mother Nature. InfoWarsLife.com. Colloidal Silver, uh, Brain Force, DNA Force, Survival Shield Nation 9 on X2. All right, my friend. I don't think I have time to get to the endless loaded calls here, but we'll take a few in the final next segment, and I'll let you get to bed. I know it's late over there uh, in Italy and Rome. Uh, but Leo's... Let's talk about this Pope going against weapon dealers when he placed a weapon dealer as the head of his Vatican bank. Uh, Ernest von Friedberg, uh, the biggest weapon dealer in Germany, a knight of Malta, he placed him uh, after... Uh, oh, yeah, he, he wants our guns, he claims he's against weapons, but then he's heavily involved in it. He is heavily involved. I mean, he's involved up to his neck. He gets all the money from the weapon dealers to his bank, the YOR, the YOR. I mean, it's, it's incredible the level of hypocrisy of this Pope. I mean... I'm, I'm, I'm really shocked. No, myself. I know. He came and spoke against the Second Amendment. We're supposed to just bow down to him. Because uh, he wants to promote all these immigrants to arrive, uh, you know, here in Europe, in the U.S., basically arriving with all the crime that, uh, of course, unfortunately... And he wants them to be able to have their way and, 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 and not be, you know, molested for people defending themselves. Because in Italy, you know, it happened that some a couple of 70-year-old the, the, the woman was, uh, was basically raped and thrown out of the window, and the guy was, uh, his throat was uh, slashed by a guy who was in a refugee center 100 meters away. I mean, and this is uh, what's happening in Italy. So I'm sure that also in the U.S. you have a lot of crime by immigrants. Well, you're not allowed and, to say that. They're God. They're allowed to do whatever they want uh, because, again, the globalists want cheap la labor. I mean, I certainly you know, know that. I want to talk about the astrology the because I cut you off earlier because of a break. I never got back into the astrology. A lot of stations are starting to pick the fourth hour up. It's live every day. Sometimes I host. Usually it's other hosts that do a great job. Leanne McAdoo's coming up. Five more minutes with Leo Zagami. And then a full hour of more breaking all this down. Infowars.com forward slash show. To find all the free Thank feeds and everything. We'll be back. Some of the headlines at Infowars.com. And Leanne McAdoo is going to be covering in the next hour. State using taxpayer funds to implant 10-year-olds with birth control. Millions of Americans will realize little or no benefit from Donald Trump's tax plan. Kurt Nemo breaks it down. It does cut taxes some. So I, I said I thought it was good. Nemo hates it. He just wants the whole thing gone, and I get it. 
Uh, I don't totally control my riders, and they, they have their own brains, so I can disagree with them sometimes. But I don't think I disagree with Kurt. I mean, I get where he's coming from, but I'll take anything. Uh, school asked students for number of guns, political views held by family. You to censor the Internet to save feminist feelings. That's actually being announced. Vatican City ignores Pope's call to accept immigrants. That's a Leo Zagami uh, article up there. Video, Clinton claims email change, uh, charges are another conspiracy theory. Soros demands Europe accept millions of Muslims annually. Uh, only one quarter of Americans would vote for a Muslim president. 